this is a uh, little section of wall for a garden that I'm doing. It's going to have a little curve in it. This wall did originally come along here. Um, but this house has been converted, so they want a little curve just to separate the two houses. It's going to have flags on there. And then we're going to step it up here to be the same height as that. So I'm just going to do a little video. As you can see, it's got a concrete footing on this one. Um, because you can see there, they've just had a gas tank. Well, not just, but in spring had a gas tank. And all the ground around here is really unstable. So what we've chosen to do is put a concrete padding so that it doesn't come anywhere you know move anywhere because that one has already started to sink uh, so it might need repairing in the future but for now we're just gonna go on there and we're just gonna show you um sort of how to do a curve and then obviously i'll join it into this section here okay so you can see the footings are put in just traditionally just on top of the concrete so still fill it everything's exactly the same um, obviously I'm going to tie into this, it's not very good, but the customer does not want this section rebuilding. Um, so I'm just going to have to deal with that. I'm still going to build my wall straight and then if that comes down in the future we can deal with that. I've um, just left this bit so you can see where my wall yesterday is going to tie into the pad. I'm going to try and bridge that like you would normally. Um, obviously this will be covered with soil because you can see the level of the ground. Um, so yeah, this is going to have a little bit of a pillar here, like I said earlier. Um, I just wanted to show you that it's just built sort of traditionally. You can still see the pad through there, but it's well filled in. We are nearly at the top, you can see we've got some bar off high wise. See what we've got for there. There'll be uh, flags down here to match those up there and then there. And um, you can see it's coming together quite well. It is on a curve, so it's, uh, it's a bit more tricky than just your normal wall length, but it's getting there. You can see some nice curves there. And this is all we've got freehand. String lines yet, we'll probably put one on at the top just to get the height, but take the new curves just freehand. Um, I find it easy.
Right, that's my curve finished. So as we can see, it's uh, level all the way across. Um, got some thin stuff on top, but there's gonna be a mortar with these flags on top. So it's 16 at top, it's 24 at bottom. Um, with that concrete pad. It's uh, got a nice face on it. Unfortunately, the customer has changed his mind and wants this section building up to sort of here now. So we're gonna cover up most of that nice face. But anyway, I just thought I'd show you how we've done. Um, it's all built by eyes, this one. I put a little line across the top just to get my height. But other than that, it's all done by eye. Um, I've tried to match it into the existing uh, as best as I can. Um, obviously, if it had all been perfectly coursed, it'd look a bit sort of out with what's going on everywhere else. But yeah, I'm just going to show you as well. We're going to build this section as well, so it should be about there. And other than that, it'll just be putting flags on. So that's how you uh, build a nice little curve. So when it's pushed out, it'll look well. It's getting dark now though, so 